Hey everybody, this is Paul. In this tutorial I'm going to do an example on synthetic division. So we've got this big honkin polynomial here and we're going to divide it by the polynomial x minus 4. And if we were to do this by long division this would just be annoying. And uh, so I'm really glad that we have this other method called synthetic division. And uh, basically we're just going to do this division problem and it's going to be fairly simple because we're going to use the synthetic division method. And uh, basically with the synthetic division method we need to be dividing by a polynomial in the form x minus a for this to work. And uh, so in this case our a is going to be equal to the number 4. So basically the, what we do is we take our a term and we write it out front here and uh, then we just kind of draw this little box type thing here and what we do next is we just pull the coefficients off of all of our terms here and we write them down. So we're just going to take the 3, we're going to write the 3 down, the negative 11, the, se the negative 7, the 18, negative 15, negative 37, and a positive 4. And uh, the first step with synthetic division after we've set up this little table type thing here is we're going to take the first term and we're just going to drop it down below this line here. And then we take whatever's down here and we multiply it by our a term. So 3 times 4 is going to be 12, and we write that result in the next available space. So then we add these two together. So a negative 11 plus a 12 is going to give us a positive 1. And then once again, we multiply this times our a term. 1 times 4 is 4, and we write that in the next available space. Negative 7, we add to 4 now. So negative 7 plus 4 is a negative 3 and then this number gets multiplied by 4. Negative 3 times 4 is a negative 12. 18 plus negative 12 is a positive 6. 6 times 4 is 24. A negative 15 plus a 24 is going to give us 9. 9 times the 4 is going to give us 36. And a negative 37 plus a positive 36 is going to give us a negative 1 negative 1 times the 4 gives us a negative 4 and 4 plus a negative 4 gives us our remainder of 0. And so now since we started with x to the sixth in this polynomial here then basically this is going to be the coefficient of x to the fifth. It's always one less than whatever the highest order was. So because we had a sixth degree polynomial the answer is going to be a fifth degree polynomial so this basically becomes 3x to the 5th plus 1 times x to the 4th and then this is minus 3x to the 3rd and then we add the 6x squared plus 9x minus 1. So this is the answer. So that's much, much, much more simple than if we did this by long division. So basically all this nonsense right here divided by x minus 4 is equal to this down here. So that is really nice if we have some big ugly problem like this to solve. We did that really quick and uh, we did that by synthetic division. So anyway, I'll probably do a few more examples on uh, synthetic division. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned for those and uh, you guys uh, have an excellent day. And uh, we'll see you next time. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.